it has been quite a while since I've done a video, especially putting it on the floor, but I have got something quite special for today. This is, well, it's what it says on the box, it's a, a HP iPad PDA, but it's fully complete in the box. I kind of just wanted to, on camera, go around the box and everything and get it all on and try and play around with some apps and stuff, but you can see it's quite original, it's still got all the stickers and stuff on it. As you can see, actually quite interesting because this has Wi Fi built in with Windows powered PDA. There's a 2.4 GHz Wi Fi, Bluetooth, as you can see here, 802.11b, Bluetooth 1.1, SD card slot, 64 megs of RAM, 3.5 inch screen, all of that good stuff. And you do need an SD card for this because this does not keep its just not keep what you've got stored on it when you turn it off. Little thing on it still, but you know. Don't have that sadly, the little um, camera attachment. I might look for that. But we do have all of this, like the dock. Mm, don't have that. All of that good stuff. Not going to read any of that, but I'll get it on camera anyway. So, what do we have in here? First of all, we have. Yeah. Lots of. Um, and stickers do not connect Cradle to a computer until you have finished installing ActiveSync software on your computer. Now I do have that. I have installed a modified version so it will run on Windows 11 and 10. So I can actually connect this to my PC and I will go through the website in a minute that I've been looking at to do all of this. But you know, we've got bags and warranty information. Blah, don't want any of that. Here, oh look, an audible advert from god knows how long ago. Look at this. Don't know if that still exists. There you go. Blank bit of cardboard. Stuff. Getting started. Oh my. One of these. Again, do not install until you've installed software. How to remove the battery. How to turn it on. How to install it to the dock. Establishing a connection. Today's screen. All of this junk but I'm not gonna bother reading on camera but you know I can get it on camera all oh. pocket PC get a free issue what is this inside magazine or oh, is it how it pocket PC mag.com it's an actual there we go that's um that's quite nice isn't it? that's actually a nice paper really thick we've got series ah here we go so we've got some attachment some accessories and so we got like we've got that I don't know which battery we've got I know we've got some chargers and that don't know what that is definitely got some styluses not a case I don't think oh I don't know I can't remember and we have a keyboard oh look there's the micro cam the, the, the whatever you want to call it, mobile camera, micro camera, navigation system, don't have that here sadly, nothing else in that, end user license agreement, who cares, more cases, ah, T-Mobile hotspot, get more from your new free trial Wi-Fi service, but just, you can get unlimited subscription from starting at $29.99 a month. And, ah, hold on. There we go. Warranty crap. Have a nice hair on the first page. Purchase your HP cap. A blank plastic SD card, which is just great. I'm going to move that out of the way. More crap. This CD includes Outlook 2002. Oh, so this has the active thing stuff. I'm not going to use that. How do we get that? Uh, here we go. What do we have here? Ah. So, and the pocket PC itself. Now that's all good. Come back to that. Stylus. Ah. Uh, this already has a stylus in the top. So I'm going to leave that one. I can get it back there. Definitely going to need this cradle. That's quite important. USB and power. 
power and adapter. Ah, there we go. Dodgy um, UK adapter. Yeah, 100 to 240 volts. I don't want to plug it in if it's just US only. And then the USB stuff. And that's it. I'm going to put all that away then. There is a lot of stuff. Um, ah, we've got a SD card already in there. So, that's good. That's why there's a blanker in there then. Let's have a look at the battery. Don't know really what to expect then, is the battery. Uh, SD card, stylus, headphone jack. I'm guessing that is an IR receiver of some kind. With a button. And then the dock thingy. Which is uh, that. Because you can either plug it into the you either plug it into the dock with that, or you put this adapter on the end, and then that, I'm guessing, yeah, it's got a shape, so it just goes in like that. And it locks, it's quite nice. Now, does this have any battery? Probably not. Oh, I didn't think it would. Back in a minute. Plug it in. And give the screen a clean, because that is nasty. It's doing something. 1.0 apparently. I need that stylus because this is a one of them screens. Hello. Okay. Good old um, alignment. If you've ever used an interactive whiteboard, this is probably like really. There we go. You can use your stylus two way single tap, tap and hold. Okay. So, like, literally anything that exists in the modern world. We are not that, we are. Whoops. The screen is absolutely just. So I break it? Oh, there we go. You're not allowed to... Oh, no. Now it works. I don't know what that was about. Uh, that will do. Tap to continue. So this does actually have a full size. Better than a mobile keyboard. It's not too bad, I guess. No, let's go home. So what happens if I click that? notes oh this might be from when i tested it okay yeah this was from when i was testing a while ago you know what that's not too bad actually that's not too bad so i was about to i was thinking of like um the pen on the note when you hover, like obviously there's no hover on this, this is just a lump of plastic, it's just to, to touch easy, easier. So what do we actually have on here? We've got a jawbreaker and solitaire, and then just a normal, um, except for like backup and stuff, but things like Word and... Interesting how there's still an on-screen keyboard popping up. Uh, this is a test, okay, yes. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not that bad, and also, they are keys are backlit. You might be able to see the blue. They are indeed backlit. I don't know what I just clicked. Then, go away. No. So you got like file view. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh, it saved it. What I'd like to do actually while I'm here, we've got Excel as well. So you can do your um Okay, I'm just gonna use that, it's probably easier. Did the calibration just go completely out of whack? Because that's doing some weird stuff. Yeah, look at that. 
and calibration just kind of went out the window. Storage card. Ah, I put loads of stuff on here. Right. That's useful. Oh, look, there's applications on here already. Okay, right, that's a good start. I'm going to have to just nuke this and uh, start again, I think. Are these just pictures? Yeah, these are just pictures. Wow, his calibrations are, are, are not great. Yeah, it's thinking about that PNG. I don't think it's too happy about that, though. Right, let's just... Oh, I've upset it now. I know, leave me alone. Just... Oh, look, we got a... Okay, right. Where is... How do I get to settings on this? Try that again. No... I want to recalibrate you. So we have buttons, input, menu, owner information, password, sounds and notifications, today. And then system, here we go. Backlight certificates, owner information, you know, format, enroll. I guess that's to do with certificate, uh, not certificates, like a warranty and stuff. Screen. Align. Try that again. See if that makes it any better. Clear type. God, this screen does not like me. It might be because of just a bit awkward because of this recording, but you know. Memory. Temporary memory. Storage. Enroll. Whoa. I don't know. Enroll certificates. Interesting. Self test. Let's see what it does. Let's uh, do the taps. Whoa, it's doing thingies. Look that go. Wow, my neck hurts from uh, bending down at this. And it is doing a lot of that. Press the button on the iPad indicated by the... Oh, that! Now that, now that, now that, now that, now that, 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 yeah. I'm not doing that again though, goodbye. Oh wow, yeah. That got brighter. About memory expansion slot for the SD card because that is where expansion things like that um, camera and stuff would plug in it would actually go into the SD card slot I can't remember the name of it but it does have a a name for the uh, weird SD card expansion I wonder if it's on the box I'm just gonna quickly read blah 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 um, SDIO that, that was the one I think yeah, SDIO. Which is pretty neat, actually, considering you can uh, expand through the SD card slot. Active Sync will be to do with connecting to the PC. Calendar. Internet Explorer. Wireless. Okay. Should we try and turn this on? I wonder if I can connect this to my phone. Probably a bad idea. But this is the um, the guide I was using to do a um, just going through some stuff that you can do on here. But it's got some links for like um, getting the mobile sync working, and we can have a look at this kind of stuff. So that's useful. That doesn't exist. Add remove programs. Install program. Okay, so there are no device compatible. Where would it, is that like?
be programs that would be installed to my PC and that would make any sense. Well, that doesn't work anyway. So we can do file management. So we can click browse. Here we go. So I can. Yeah. iPack, I'm not going to touch. And this is. This is like the actual Windows um, files. So. This is actually. This would be like your C drive, but. On a. On the PDA. So that's how we do that. What settings can we change on here? Contact sync settings. See, I have Office 365 on here, so that probably doesn't work. We can allow one. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got connections, we don't need to change any of that. Back up and restore. I'm not going to do any emails and stuff like that, it's very insecure. I'm going to do is I have a software folder with some PDA stuff so let's put all that on here see I don't know if any of this is going to work or not and then I'm going to put some let's put a picture on. is that going to go bad because I'm copying twice no fair enough And there is also this good site here, which has a lot of old software and stuff for PDAs and Windows Mobiles and all that good stuff. So like Bluetooth audio. There's quite a lot on here. You could be go. You could go for a long time. Nice lucky star um, background on that. Yes, there's a lot of apps. It's good to go through here and have a look. But I'm going to wait for that stuff to copy over and switch back to the camera. How do we disconnect, actually? Can we just... Um, do you just unplug it? Do I just close it? Do I just go back to using it normally? Just going to unplug. Okay, we are back on here. So, if I go to... Programs... File Explorer, and I go back to my device and storage card. Here we go. So these are just cab files. You just click. So that one doesn't work. I did put a load on here because I didn't know which version would work on this. Here we go. I'm going to need internet for that. That's just going to copy and install. Come on. This probably won't work, this is a navigation app, one I don't have map files, but two I don't have any, I don't think this has any GPS stuff built in, so wouldn't expect that to work. Stop telling me to, I don't, and now can I, I'm guessing, okay, so I'm guessing that would do stuff there. Go home, stop, you're not going to beam anything. Right, so now we have more programs like YouTube Play. Let's start at the top anyway. So this is that navigation app. Blue Bluetooth browser, what? Right. We're doing stuff now. Oh, if you ask one more... Right, I don't have a map file. So that doesn't work, okay. PDA Paint, Opera's not going to work yet, so let's just do PDA Paint first. Oh. See, it's not... I don't get why it doesn't work in other things, because that's... I wouldn't call that an issue. I mean, to be fair, the line that came up there was probably because of my hand. Might just... Maybe I'm accidentally... Oh, if you do that again... You could probably do some good drawings on this if you know what you're doing, which I don't. I'm picking 
the colours okay. I don't see an issue with that. That's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty useful, actually, because I don't... Other than yanking the battery, I don't know how you turn this off. There's probably a way, but... Oh, oh no, that's the application. I really want to get YouTube Play working. Be interesting to see if this does anything. I don't even think it opens. Unless that's because I don't have Wi-Fi yet. Let's see what it does. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so for our last time, I have installed some more applications on this thing. As you can see, there's a bit more on it now. So, I have managed to get it connected to a hotspot. But, the Opera browser... No, that's not what I told you to do, is it? That is not what I told you to do. Go back to programs. The Opera browser just goes... Not supported. Go away. And Internet Explorer just doesn't work. So, I have installed some more applications. That one works well. Real Player works. I don't have any video files on here that it will be compatible with, but we can listen to the, um, you know, the, the nice beat it laid down there. How do we exit? Like that. This doesn't work. I installed some travel applications. Uh, English. Right. Okay, let's... Just doing something. No idea what it's doing. Right, should we try that again? No, I don't want more languages. Oh, there's loads of them. And it's so hard to navigate them. English. Please select your home location. Ah, that's further. Let's just put... That's something. Here we go. The clock represents your home location. Right, okay. So we've got different world clocks. So this is meant to help you travel, apparently. Error reading device owner information. Please give you your name. My name is... Uh, that's my name. Okay, well, I don't want to activate. I do not want to activate... Go away. Do I really have to? Right, you know what? I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see what happens when I dial my email into this thing. Type in. Right. I am going to click OK. Synchronization failed. So we've got, I guess this would pull weather information across. Alright, mm, this screen is uh, making me. Right, okay, just go away. Because you're making me brain hurt. This, I can see this being quite useful. So this is all um, phone dialing codes. We've got United States area codes. We've got... Ah, so we've got all different clothing sizes. So if you want to look for some bras... You got all your sizes or shoes or children's sh suits. Oh no, men's, just men's. Children's shoes, women's shoes, men's shoes, and it gives you all of the different sizes. So 
a 11 in UK is a 46 in Europe and a 12 in USA. 29. That's actually, well, that's actually really useful even today, having something like that. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, packing list. Packing list, okay. Antibiotic cream. That actually is quite useful. So we can add new categories and lists and items when the screen works. You can delete, you can check and uncheck all. Register, look, fill. Oh, so you can, these are plugins. Okay. That is actually. Oh, here we go. This will be uh, measurements and stuff, I'm guessing. And like volume. Okay, so we're going to convert. Ah, it's a whole converter. So we could say we want to convert mile an hour to. What is it now? So if we're doing. 200 and and I figured out you hold this and you can do the numbers and stuff so if I want to do 250 miles an hour that is 402.336 kilometers an hour that is actually really useful I really like this that would be exchange rates no idea where this would try and put its info from or when this was even a I'm guessing it's going to try and connect to some server and update. Oh, you'd have to register to do that. Oh, no. I know synchronization failed. Just leave me alone. That is actually really cool. And you got all the times. That's pretty good, actually. That's actually... And I think this is... Is this, is this what you call today? Oh, yeah, let's see. We've got a shortcut. I actually really like that one. That's my traveller. What else did I put on here? Did anything else work? Real player and this last FM thing didn't work sadly. A lot of these are quite old so that happens. I don't have any map files for that. I want to know, how do you... No, settings. Oh, what sounds do we have on here? See, what's that all about? That's nowhere near. Okay. Notifications. Okay, I'll give up with that. I don't know what's going on with this in the screen. It's almost like down at the bottom it's getting a bit upset. How do you change like the... Uh, because I know you can. Do you have to open up a... What we want to do is change this wallpaper. Do you have to go... Oh my god, man. That is really annoying. Right, you know what, we're going to go forward. And this is another thing that's a little bit annoying. You can go left and right in the menu, but if you go down... I'm pushing down right now. It does that. So you can't navigate up, down, left, right. It's kind of left, right, and then it goes next and does that so that's a bit annoying but if I say open this can I then see it doesn't like that image file no that's not set options okay it doesn't like that okay I don't know what that does but I'm going to click it and it doesn't work. Okay, well, I'm going to get upset in a bit. I'm going to leave this to charge for a bit. But I think it, if I find some more apps, I'll do another video on this. But for now, that's just an introduction and an unboxing of this at least. And I'm going to try and get some more stuff on it working. So...